Hey everyone, this is part 3 of my Danger Den Land Tower 450 watt HTPC build. Now it's all in bits again and that's because I've kind of started filming halfway through. What I have here is the Corsair H100 water cooling kit. As you can see, I should really have started filming a bit earlier but I just got a bit excited and got stuck into it. But Check out my review on the Corsair H100 for full details on this water cooling kit, including my testing. Okay, so what I'm doing, I've taken the stock fans off the Corsair H100 and I've put the fans on it that I had in this build, which are the Enemax TB Silence red LED fans, which, which you saw up and running in the build in the in part two okay so I'm putting them onto the radiator now what I'm gonna do is there's two panels in the front of this case okay this is the inner panel which you mount the fans onto and the outer panel is just a grill as you have seen in part one and part two so that just goes on the front to cover up the inner panel basically okay so I'm mounting the radiator and the fans onto this panel and the bolts that came with the Corsair H100 are the ones that I'm using then I'll be able to put the whole you know this panel in with the radiator and the fans on it back into the front of the case so as you can see at the moment there's no panels in the front of the case and then hopefully it'll all fit nicely but at the moment I really have no idea if it's going to fit the radiator could be too big, the width of the fans and the radiator, radiator together might hit the back of the hard drives. I might have to rewire the hard drives or something, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I've got the heat sink off the CPU, the stock heat sink, it's sitting just there, ready for the Corsair H100 heat sink to be installed. So I've got to get the back plate on still, got both the side panels off so that I can get access to the back plate which there's only just enough room for as you can see there I might have a little bit of trouble okay I've successfully installed the Corsair H100 and the system is up and running I've just had to put it on the floor here because that's where my extra connections are for systems that come in for repair so installing a 240 millimeter radiator into the front of this case was absolutely no worries there is plenty of space for a 240 mil rad and even for a large 240 mil rad there's about 30 mil left on the top 20 mil down either side and 20 mil still at the bottom the only problem was the thickness of the radiator and fans the radiator is resting right up against the connections the hard drive connections it's there's only a slight gap probably two millimeters so it's pushing against the wires and it even slightly damaged the fins because the fins are extremely delicate unfortunately I wasn't able to get any grills in there because there is just not enough room up against the hard drives so I'm afraid anything more than a 30 millimeter radiator in the front of this case will not fit because of the hard drives unless you mount the hard drives differently or use 2.5 inch drives or something then you won't have a problem you can see the tubing is kinked pretty harshly up there but it was I didn't have to push that into position hard it you know it's in that position very easily there's not much pressure on it at all so that's not a worry everything just went went in perfectly except for a couple of little things the bolts that come with the Corsair H100 weren't long enough to go through the front case panel through the fans and into the radiator okay because what I wanted to do I wanted the fans at the front like they are sandwiched in between the front panel and the radiator and those Corsair H100 bolts were perfect because they didn't have thread all the way up the bolt and there's thread in this front panel and it's the same thread as the radiator which rules out put, putting through any normal long radiator bolts because 
the thread is the same and you'd have to actually strip the thread to do up to tighten the bolts so what I ended up doing was the only thing I really could do if I was going to stick with this config I mean the other way is to mount the radiator onto the front panel and then put the fans onto the onto the back of the radiator but for dust cleaning purposes these fans have removable blades I wanted them at the front so I can pull the blades out, clean them, clean the radiator also because I wanted the red LEDs shining through the front grill so luckily these fans unclip they actually clip in half so I ripped them apart I bolted one side of the fan to the radiator and the other side to the inside of the front panel then I just clipped them all together and, and that was it the other problem that I had was the back plate putting the, the back plate on for the Corsair H100 heatsink this motherboard has a lot of components on the back of the PCB so the back plate was actually resting up against a lot of these components and putting pressure on them so I had to put packers in behind the back plate just bits of rubber you know to stop shorts and to stop pressure on the PCB okay I've got a dust filter now installed on the front of the case it's a DEMCI flex dust filter for a 240 millimeter rad I actually had to cut it down a bit to get it to fit so it's got a magnetic strip with tape on one side which you stick on and then the dust filter is magnetic and it just sticks to that quite easily so that can be easily removed but now the front grill has to go on the front so the dust filter is going to be between the two panels of the front of the case which is great because you won't be able to see it alright so the other thing that I've changed since part two of the build log is the hard drive configuration I tried to go with the three terabyte Western Digital Green but I had a lot of trouble with compatibility with the motherboard's BIOS and I also had driver problems I ended up giving up on it because I needed a driver update from Intel and there hasn't been one since March so I wasn't going to wait forever I wanted to get this build up and running I ended up using a OCZ Vertex 2 60GB SSD which came out of my test bed because I was replacing the one in the test bed anyway so I've settled on a 2 terabyte and the OCZ Vertex 2 60GB and I'm setting up Intel Smart Response Technology so the SSD is going to be cached for the 2 terabyte drive it's plenty of storage for what I need for now I can always add more storage later I've actually velcroed the SSD onto the hard drive because if I was going to install the SSD onto the case I'd have to install it back here and the cables weren't long enough and it would look really messy because I'd have all the cables hanging out in the way so that was the the cleanest way for me to do it I mean I could have put it up here or something you know velcroed it up there or put it on the power supply as well but that was really the cleanest place overall for me to put it that I so I decided on that I might move it later if I install more hard drives but so I've got two extra spots here for two more 3.5 inch hard drives if need be so I'm basically just trying out Intel smart response technology I'm going to test the performance see how good it is if I don't like it if the performance gain isn't that great it's supposed to be around four times faster than just the hard drive on its own but yeah if the performance gain isn't too great then I can just put the the OS on the SSD alright I'll give you a look at the front now that I've got that dust filter installed so you can't even see the dust filter completely hidden which is perfect just how I wanted it just one more little thing the cable management for the fans in the front of the case and also the Corsair H100 the Corsair H100 connects up via a 4 pin Molex connector and I've connected that up down there behind the hard drives so that's hidden and out of the way the Corsair H100 also has a 3 pin connector which is to monitor the pump so that is connected up to the CPU fan header just there on the motherboard and all the extra cables are just pushed down behind the hard drives 
and hidden and cable tied out of the way. The other thing is the wiring for the two Animax TV silence fans cooling the radiator. So the Corsair H100 actually has a fan controller built into it which takes up to four four pin fans. So I've connected those two fans up to that fan controller just there. So it's an awesome compact little unit, the Corsair H100. It's got the pump, well into the heat sink is built the pump and a fan controller. And it's also got a connector for Corsair Link. But anyway, check out my review on it for all the details. So anyway, all the extra cables have been pushed down there behind the hard drives with the rest of the cables. And you know, there's still plenty more room down there behind those hard drives. If for any extra cables, so that worked out great. The design of this case is just awesome for cable management. Okay, so part four will be the testing, and, and the testing will include performance results for Intel Smart Response technology with this configuration, temperature results, and also performance results. Also, It'll cover one more tiny little addition which I'm going to be installing in the next few days and that is an LED strip, a red LED strip. I want this case lit up red on the inside because I think it will just look amazing if I have some more light. Those fans don't light it up enough. So I've got a nice bright LED strip coming and I'm going to have red light shining out through the smoke black case Hopefully, most of it will be able to catch that red light. So that sums up this video. Please subscribe and click like and favourite if you want to see more. Thanks everyone.